Hello and welcome to My Support Solutions YouTube channel. The topic of this video is Fiscal Year Variant Discussion. This video is part of our SAP S4 HANA FICO Business or End User Course. So in this video we will discuss about Fiscal Year Variant and in our next video we will do the practical that is we will define Fiscal Year Variant and we will assign the Fiscal Year Variant to our company code. Now we will start our discussion. So they, uh, basically there are two types of fiscal year variant. First one is year independent and second is year dependent. Now there are another two types of year independent. First one is calendar fiscal year, second is non-calendar fiscal year. We will create a separate video discussion with practical for short term fiscal year later on and in this video we will focus on year independent now in sap sap has defined the standard variants as you can observe here the k4 variant is for january to december and v3 variant is for april to march this is for non calendar fiscal year now in other words we can say fiscal year equal to financial year now here let's say our fiscal year is from april 24 to march 25 this is called as a non calendar fiscal year here we can observe from uh, april to december there are uh, sorry from uh, april to march there are 12 posting periods this is called as a normal posting periods and here again from april may june and july these four posting periods are called as a special posting periods a user can post the transaction in any one of the special posting periods which are from 13 to 16 if the posting period falls in the 12th period that is last posting period that is March generally we use special posting periods for the purpose of adjustment okay so in SAP total number of posting periods are 16 that is 12 normal posting periods plus 4 special posting periods okay so this is the example of non calendar fiscal year from April 24 to March 25 again uh, non calendar fiscal year can be from October to September or from July to June etc depends on the business now the below example is from January 24 to December 24 so this is called as a calendar fiscal year again there are 12 normal posting periods but this year will start from January 1 to December okay so these are normal posting periods and special pro special posting periods January February March and April okay so these are four special posting periods total posting periods 16 12 normal posting periods and four special posting periods now here we can observe this uh, below screenshot of transaction code OB29 where we can define a fiscal year variant in SAP as I already told you in SAP there is a standard fiscal year variant defined as a K3 for April to March okay now here there is a concept of a year shift we can observe this for this three months that is january march and uh, sorry for january february and march there is a minus one in this year shift column and here uh, there is a zero so we'll understand this concept of year shift just a minute i will yes now let's say our fiscal year is uh, 24 
that is our year will start from april 24 to march 25 and in this these are the number of months from april to march and the respective number of days here i have mentioned okay our fiscal year is 24 that is from april 24 to march 25 and what is actual calendar year actual calendar year is from april 24 to december 24 actual calendar year will be 24 but for january february and march actual calendar actual calendar year will be 25 2025 okay so the formula for year shift is fiscal year less actual calendar year so for this let's say 2024 less 2024 hence the balance is zero so here if we again observe the below screenshot from april month to december month that is 12 month in the column year shift there is zero okay so this is why this, this is zero because of this year shift equal to fiscal year less calendar year so 24 less 24 is equal to zero and what about this january february and march what our formula says year shift equal to fiscal year less calendar year hence 24 less 25 2024 less 2025 and again 2024 less 25 hence here minus 1 for only for this 3 months that is january february and march so here we can observe in the column of year shift for january month february month and march month respectively there is a minus 1 system has mentioned minus 1 so this is the concept of year shift likewise we can define year shift for our non calendar years that is uh, for october to september or uh, july to june etc okay as per our business requirement which we can define our fiscal year okay so this is a concept of year shift now uh, as i already told you we will create a different video for shortened fiscal year variant or for shortened fiscal year okay i hope you understand the concept of fiscal year variant um, so that's all for now in this discussion video uh please like share and subscribe to our my support solutions youtube channel thanks for watching keep in touch and bye bye